be making basics. What's going on, YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Now, today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to detect the key of any sample, track, or basically anything. You know what I'm saying? It's a simple way to do it. Um, let's go ahead and jump in, all right? Now, first things first, we're gonna need to get some samples, different things like that, just to, just to test this thing out. I'm actually gonna just go with a, um, a MIDI track real quick. And I'm gonna push Command K just to bring up musical typing. All right, now the reason why I'm bringing this up is just so that we can basically test the work here of this plugin that I'm gonna show you that's gonna to, to, going to detect the key of any sample or track using AI. So I'm gonna have to just bring this up here so I can like kind of test to make sure it's actually doing what it says it's gonna do. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and just start with an audio track. And just for demonstration purposes, just to kind of get this going, I'm gonna come over here to loops take this off right here and then um, I'm just gonna come over here and we can just type in like song and then we got like a whole song right here now obviously you can see the key is already there so we're gonna do this one first just so you can see that it works but then I'm gonna do some other stuff that doesn't have the key on it I said song that wasn't right quite what I was talking about mm. so I'll just go ahead and throw this on here just so we can kind of see what I'm talking about here but basically there's this plug-in man called key detector by waves it's pretty simple you just throw it on um, to the track that has whatever uh, sample or whatever you know track or audio and then this is what it looks like Basically, it says that it's waiting for audio. So what it's going to do is waiting for me to basically push play. Once it does that, it's going to find the key. Let's check it out. And then let's just check his work. Now, obviously, like I said, it already has the key here, but this is this plugin is going to be for people who don't like that, you know, know the key. So let's just check this out. Um, push musical type in here come back over here it says B minor okay now I know these notes kind of like can be confusing but this is technically a C D E F G so So yeah, this is this is a dope plugin. Now we're gonna really get into it here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and go to like splice, and then throw something on that way. I know a lot of times these have the keys and stuff like that there as well, but um, let's see something here. So this is a dope sample right here, right? What I'm gonna do, just to mix this up, is I'm actually going to uh, change the key. So right now, um, let's just kind of see what the cur current key is. I bet so this is gonna be perfect for like say if you 
um, you know, you use Splice or you create your own samples or whatever, and then you start pitching it up or down, right? So this this happens all the time. You might get the sample, you ready to cook up. You're gonna be like, okay, let me pitch this, pitch this up. So I would come, come over here, push like option up a couple times. Now this is gonna basically give it a whole new pitch. So I did it right, man. So like I said, it started off at the E minor, but um, or E flat minor. Now it's this G minor. So this is this is a great tool, basically, man, to like find out what the key um, is for any track or any sample. Um, I'm gonna leave a a uh, the link, a direct link in my district description. It's gonna be the first link. Go check that out and uh, get this plugin, bro. This is a this is worth the money. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Just because there's so many times where you don't know, you feel me? They don't know what the key is to something. You're trying to figure that, that out. So, um, yeah, man. Let me see here. So like this is a perfect example right here like this doesn't have the key on it so say if i wanted to sample something out of this and find out what the key is just throw that on there then put this key detector on and wait for this load to load then you just go ahead and push play Cool. Let's just check the work here. Saying it's G minor. So it's saying G flat minor. So which would be that. So yeah, it's right on point. Definitely uh, takes out all of the uh, confusion when it comes to trying to find keys and stuff like that. Let me see what else we got here. Let me see. Another great example, there's no key right here on this sample. So if I was to try to figure that out, it's gonna be hard. So let's do it now from here. And it found this key pretty fast too. So like literally five seconds into it. So this is E major. Yeah, so it's a it's a great tool for that, man. I'm not gonna overly hold y'all here on this. I mean, y'all pretty much see what's going on. You can pretty much come in here and you know figure this out. Again, like if I wanted to take this, maybe chop it up a little bit, and let's just see. Cause this is the bigger this is the bigger part of it. Like to me, 
when it comes to trying to find a key is after you actually do some sampling and now you're trying to like match up the key So like, let's just say we just lay this down. All right, let me stop. Uh, let me see here. Follow tempo. That's horrible. Let me <laughs> let me try that again. I said that I actually like that little part. Um, not to get distracted here, y'all. So we're gonna make the sample do that. Convert this to um, audio. Now we got this new sample that we don't know the key um, of. All right, so obviously for whatever reason that uh, tempo match did not work. Logic, y'all need to fix that, bro. Like for real, that's an, it is annoying to take the drag and drop a sample in here into the quick sampler, <laughs> and I gotta do some weird like do do all this other stuff like bro. If y'all watch my videos, y'all better fix that immediately, bro. It's not a good look. Still logic game though, man. Still lock rock with logic. Um, Anyway, we're not gonna be able to know the key of it off top, so we'll just put this on here, push play. I bet that's a B minor. So all we gotta do right here is I'm just gonna push the music type in, go to a B. And then, like, if you actually know how to figure out the key, um, I'm not the key, but the scales and the chords and stuff like that for each key, then you can actually jump in here and easily play this stuff. So, yeah, like I said, man, I'm not going to overly do this, but, bro, go check out the plugin. It's pretty dope. Um, in my personal opinion, it works. And this would be great for samples. Like I said, samples, whenever you're trying to, you know, get a sample going, you don't know the key. Um, or if you end up, say pitching you know your sample up or down either an octave or a couple semitones up or down this is going to be a great resource to be able to quickly find out what your new track is uh what key your new track is in you feel me so check out the plugin bro and i thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video bro.